Introducing Brightlink's new multifunction Pro Control app, designed for simple, easy control of Brightlink's AV distribution systems. Now available on Apple iTunes for ISO devices and Google Play Store for Android devices. Brightlink's Pro Control app comes free with the purchase of any of our compatible Matrix AV distribution systems. Our Pro Control app allows you to easily control your multi-source, multi-display systems from your smartphone or tablet anywhere within the Wi-Fi range. You can pick what source you want to see on what display with our various selection options as well. And on certain systems, configure your video wall setups. To get started, download the app from your preferred app store. Once the app is downloaded to your device, you'll be directed to create an account. This account is different from your Brightlink website account. You must send a verification code to your email in order to create an account. After you have created an account and signed in, you can now add the Brightlink device that you need. In order to proceed, you'll need to obtain a valid serial number from support at brightlinkav.com by providing your order number, name, and system SKU. When you select your device, the fields will be automatically populated with the default information for your system. You are able to rename your devices as well as change the device IP if needed. The port number should remain the same. To allow your device and matrix to successfully connect, your matrix and network IP address must share the same subnet. For example, if your matrix default IP is 192.168.0.88, then your network must share the same subnet, second to last octet of numbers, which would be zero. So your Wi-Fi access point and your network would have an IP similar to 192.168.0.1. Once you're sure that you have all the correct settings, you can now save your device and start using the app to control it. The app has four main sections for you to choose from. State, Routing, Multi-Routing, and Preset. State gives you a quick view of your current configurations for your inputs and outputs. You should swipe down to refresh every time to make sure it's current. Routing is the section you will likely use the most. This section allows you to quickly scroll through your output displays and select which source you want to route to it. Also, you can select the Settings button, then select Input or Output, which will allow you to change the names, choose a button color, and turn off ports that are not in use. You can also enter the General tab if you need to adjust the matrix or app configuration. Multi-routing allows you to select a signal input and send it to multiple outputs at the same time. First, select the input you want to send to multiple displays. Then it will take you to the next screen where you can select all if you want to send the input to all outputs. Or you can select any other multi-output combination you like by turning the output toggle button to on or the green position and then select apply. The preset section allows you to add custom input-output combinations and easily recall them later. To do this, hit the add button and then using the toggle button you can turn on and off each output you want to be included in your custom preset configuration. When the output is on, you can select which input will be routed to it. Once you have turned on the outputs you need and selected which input goes to them, you can give your new preset a name and click Save. It will take a moment for this preset to save. Now you can come back into your presets and select the one you just made. And with this one click, it will make your custom switch for you. Thank you for watching our video. If you'd like to find out more information about our products, please visit our website at brightlinkav.com or you can email us at support at brightlinkav.com.